All right, an episode, eat the D. Uh, this one, I, I try to stick to places that are like pretty much only in the Detroit area. And this uh, there's a little, this one's gonna be a small exception because this this place has two locations: one in Warren, which is the one I'm going to, one in Warren, Michigan, and then they have one down in Florida too. So there's two locations very far apart, from what I can tell. Those are the only two. It's called the Cluck and Hot Chicks. It's a fried chicken place. They got hot sauce. They got all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna go there and get some smorgasbord. Like I said, I try to keep it to the Detroit area only, with only two locations, and the only other one being in Florida. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit of an exception to the rule. Um, but it's in Warren. Meeting the boy Numer there. I'm, and I'm hungry, dude. It is like 11.30, 11.45. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm hungry. I'm going to get all kinds of stuff. I'm going to eat all kinds of stuff. You guys know. There's another episode. Eat the D. Fucking hot chicks. Warren, Michigan. Not Florida. Let's get it. start with the tacos because the other stuff supposedly is pretty hot and I don't want to get all spicy. Angle's a little weird because the table's a little small so I got the camera on a chair. Um, but here we go, the tacos. Humor's here too, just off camera. Hey yo, what up? This looks good. It's a very long drive for me to get here. It better be worth it. The whole two minutes. Holy shit. Okay. So that taco was fucking phenomenal. Uh, two hot chick tacos spiced your way. So I got the mild sauce on it. Flour tortillas, cilantro slaw, cheddar cheese, and cilantro lime sauce. That shit was fucking banging. The slaw was good. I think that cilantro lime sauce is really good. I think that was the part I was tasting the most. But absolute heater out the gate. That, that, oh, so good. Let's try these wings now. Supposedly they're pretty hot. I guess I'll try this one. The wing. So the wings are good. They're cooked phenomenally. Really crispy, really moist on the inside, crispy on the outside. I did get the clucking hot sauce. <laughs> which is their second hottest sauce here, according to looks like on the menu. It's not that hot, not that hot. I'm definitely feeling it. It's definitely a little spicy, but it's not like lighting me up by any means. But the chicken is good. Might as well eat this bread. Yeah, it's bread. Yeah, the, ooh. Keeping up on you. It all, it all snuck into the bread. <laughs> the bread was dripping when he took a bite of it. Mm. If there's just not enough sauce then on these. But it's still good. I would still eat these again. I mean, I would look forward to eating them later. But really good fried chicken. Mm. 
Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> Maybe that sauce is a little hot. It just wasn't on there enough. But now I got the island chick, which is a cr the chicken sandwich, Caribbean jerk style, chicken breast, toasted bun, creamy coleslaw, cluck sauce, and sweet pickles. Now, if there's anything I know about Caribbean jerk chicken, is that it is typically, like, unbearably spicy. So we'll see how this goes. Looks good, though. Oh, yeah, dude. That, that bread fucked me up. <laughs> and I don't know what this is. I did not put it. Some extras. Yeah, like a tender and a wing. I know. I think Penny Reds is better still, but it's still pretty good. I agree. So, my sandwich, it's not bad. There's a. I'm getting a lot of the slaw, a lot of sauce. I'm really not tasting any like Caribbean jerk though, funny enough. It's like mostly just the accoutrement that I'm tasting. But it's still good. I don't, like Numer said, Penny Reds is definitely better in terms of sandwiches. Um, but I got these rogue chicken. It's like a tender and a wing. There's some sauce on it. Don't know what it is, but hey, I'll fucking try it. So let's go. So the rogue chicken, I don't, know, I don't even know if there's anything on it. It's just kind of bleh. It's like it's good, but it's just fried chicken. The wing might have a little more of the sauce or whatever sauce is on it. I really don't know, but it tastes pretty good. The wing with the extra sauce. The tender, like, I really couldn't taste anything other than chicken. Put that out of the way. Let's try these sides. Okay, let's try these fries after I dumped them all out in the bag. Moving on to the sides. I got fries, slaw, and tater salad. This fries looks like they got a little bit of seasoning on them. Let's see how good they are. Very lackluster. <laughs> There's like, they're, just, they're, they're fine, they're fries, but they're not like anything. They're not like, oh my God, these fries. They look like pretty like basic fries. Yeah. Now oh, I need to see if I can get a fork. A little bit of sprinkling on it. That's what I'm saying. Let's try the slaw. First off, it's cut right. It's not it's a, not diced, it's shredded, which is a big win for me. So it's not bad slaw. You could probably use a little more dressing for my liking. I know some people like their slaw wet, a lot more wet, a lot more dry. This one's definitely on the drier side. I don't hate it by any means. It's definitely a good slaw, but a little more dressing would go a long way for me. And lastly, let's try this potato salad, which is my real Achilles heel. That's good potato salad. So it's nice and creamy. There's like some uh, some dill in there. I think I'm tasting because I used to get uh, dill potato salad from House of Flavors in Manistee. Shout out, R.I.P. Um, and that tasted very similar to this, and I love that potato salad, and this is very similar to that. So potato salad's phenomenal. All in all, what do you think? Tacos, doing the heavy lifting for sure. Um, everything else was like, it was all right. Not like, it's not bad. I wouldn't say this is a bad place by any means. But if you're coming here and you've got to get one thing and one thing only, the tacos, by far. Get those chicken tacos. Those are so good. Sandwich. Go to Penny Reds. Or even uh, Holy Cluck. Links in the description for both those. Uh, what else? Potato salad's good. Coleslaw, a little dry, but it's not bad. Fries are fries. I never really expect like greatness from fries, ever. And then the wings, they're cooked really good. Nice and crispy, nice and moist on the inside. Just need a little more sauce, a little more sauce. Maybe maybe get that bread out of there so it's not absorbing all the sauce. <sighs> you any final thoughts? Shout out Final Fantasy. Shout out Final Fantasy. You heard it here first, folks. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Another episode. Eat the deed in the books. That sauce is work. Maybe it, it's still got me going a little bit here. 
Uh, like the video because I already know you did, so tell YouTube that. Subscribe so you don't miss anything else, any food, any video game stuff. I'm going to Zaxby's later this week, video on that soon at some point, maybe even before this, I don't know. But yeah, it will be before this. Hope you like the Zaxby's video. <laughs> Link in the description if you haven't seen that. Um, other video game videos always coming out, playing Halo a lot, so working my way through that infinite campaign. It's kind of a lot of fun. Um, subscribe to that, and let's talk chicken in the comments. I'm really liking finding all these fried chicken places in Detroit. Detroit's obviously known for its pizza, known for their conies, everyone knows that. But I'm finding it's kind of sneaky, 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 okay, good, fried chicken sn sneaky good chicken in the area, and I'm not finding that out. This is definitely probably, I feel like the holy grail of like Penny Reds. Holy Cluck. I wouldn't even say Holy Grail. The three fried chicken places I can think of that I've been to. Penny Reds, Holy Cluck, and this. This one's definitely in third place. I announced I'd put Holy Cluck above uh, Penny Reds. This, dude, it was so good. That, like, I can't stress to you that mac and cheese is, uh, that I had there was like one of the best things I've ever eaten. It was so good. I'm not even a big mac and cheese guy. That's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You know the drill. Talk in the comments. Private. Let's talk fried chicken in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.